Hello and welcome to this beautiful historic stadium, the Sharjah Cricket Stadium, where we're bringing in live action of the first ODI, UAE versus West Indies. Well, yes, it was an important toss, and uh, earlier it was Mohammed Wasim who has. Uh, won the toss and decided to bat first, so he definitely concurs and agrees with Nikhil at the, the pitch, insisting that it's going to be easier to bat first on a wicket here in Sharjah. That's the playing 11 for UAE. Of course, there's a new entrant in that playing 11, Ali Nasi, getting his first game and getting his cap from uh, his teammates. So it's going to be an exciting encounter. UAE playing the 100th one-day international against West Indies, the first ever bilateral series between these two and it, cracked, it is going to be a cracker of a game and a trolling day of cricket as well. well that's right, uh, it's going to be an exciting game uh, as uh, Hope, who also said that he would have loved, loved to bat first too, but uh, will be chasing in the hot sweltering conditions, which has been slightly for the men in Maroon, will be feeling in this hot sunshine. All right, so the two openers there for the UAE in all readiness, taking charge. The ball will be faced by the skipper. Mohamed Wasim, 39 matches, over 1,000 runs. That strike rate of 94.18, the highest of 119. Kimo Paul, 25 wickets to his credit. I like that economy, 6. We are... In all readiness for the first ball to be bowled, Mohamed Wasim will be facing Kimo Paul. Movement to the very first delivery. It's a good start there. Ball him. We spoke about the movement. This time the ball comes in and Mohamed Wasim. That would not be a good call for himself. That would not be a good sighting when he goes back and watches the replays. First wicket down. There was a big gap between bat and pad. Never a good idea. And the sound of timber. So pleasing for the Windies. What a great start. Mohammed Wasim, the superstar, will be walking back, dejected. And it will be a long walk back to the dugout. Never a good sight. Mohammed Wasim out on a duck. Well, nicely driven. This one is a classy shot from Rithya Arvind. That will give him tons of confidence. Beautiful hit straight down the ground for four. Oh. Open the face of the bat this time and beautifully done. Another boundary for Rithya. Fabulous shot there. Aryansh now will open his account of boundaries. And a hero delivery there. Got him out. Right on the money. Aryansh going for some flamboyance but paying the price. Drake's get it. Drake's getting his first one day international wicket. And what a way to get that wicket. Right on the off stump, exact length where he wanted to be bowled and as we mentioned earlier, bowl on the stumps and you will get rewarded. Aryan Sharma will have to walk back, scoring 5 of 5 and that is the second wicket down for UAE. 25 for 2. Oh, fabulous. That's what you like to see. Left foot out, classic cover drive, well played. Oh, well, that went horribly wrong. And that's what Odin Smith is known for. That uh, deceptive bounce when he puts a little bit of shoulder in. Is he okay? Ball, ball. It seems that blow from Rami's Shazad that he faced Odin Smith has caused him to go off. So he had the concussion test stayed out there. But as we know, you do tend to get those reoccurring symptoms and it's a pity to see him walking off because this partnership was developing nicely. 28 from 49 deliveries. That was the blow. Hit him flush on the helmet. 
Yeah, on one hand, of course, pity to see him go off, but on the other hand, I'm glad because if medical attention is needed, then now's the time rather than later because a little bit of bravado or adrenaline stays with you and you say, I'm okay. But uh, I do hope that he gets requisite attention and that uh, he is fine for perhaps even later today or, or certainly the next couple of matches. What a good shot that is. That has been supremely timed by Asif and it's been played in the gap. So a good start to the over from Asif Khan. That is a gorgeous stroke. He's managed to clear the infield. Will that trickle away to the boundary? It's Yannick Korea chasing. He does give up towards the very end. And that's a much needed boundary for Vritya Arwin. Something that will just break the shackles a bit. Up in the air. And that's well wide of Odin Smith. So welcome boundary for the UAE. Oh, got him! The first time that Asif, uh, Asif jumped out, missed the ball completely, and Chase strikes. This is a big blow for the UAE as uh, they lose the man who could have powered them onto a big score. This is a man we spoke about playing absolutely against his natural style of play. Where is that foot landing? Where is the foot landing? Oh, well, is there a couple of millimeters? So this is really tough. Oh, it's a no ball. Lucky there, Asif. He will survive. He will get another day to show his bravado. He will get another day to go out and hit those big ones. Goes for it. And makes it. That's the way to do it. Chase hard done. Just a couple of millimeters separating what could have been a wicket. Now a no ball and a six. When he hits, it stays hit, as they say. Get oh. yeah. Is that an edge? Given. That's a really big one. The man in form for UAE. Their finest bat, Vritya. He's been turning the ball mightily. And Vritya, no footwork whatsoever, trying to chase the ball. Getting a faint edge. He'll be upset. He was doing well. 40 of 77. He's gone. 100 for 3. Oh, big appeal. That could be close. Yes, given. Well, Ramiz had walked across, trying to just uh, maneuver that to leg and paid the price. He came fair bit across the line and Shea Hope instantly went up. Chase had a latest reaction to that call. The umpire was, con was, was not at all in any sorts of doubt, Ramesh has out 16 of 31. <laughs> Taken! Easy! Well done! Just waiting to happen. Lots of turn there. And it's good that Hope kept that slip alive. Easy catch. Yeah, good call by the captain there to keep uh, the slip in position. And that, that was that was half defense, half push, try to avoid the turn. I don't want to face this bowler kind of a nudge. And he pays the price. 27 of 41. Asif goes. Inside out. Extra cover is a strong region for Ali Nasir. Imperious stroke. That one much more convincing than the first. Hold him. Drake strikes. Pace into the attack works for the Windies. And the resilient Rohan Mustafa goes. But Rohan Mustafa was not expecting that ball to come so quick after that first delivery. That one just came in. And that was right on the money. Dominic Drakes has announced himself at the highest level. 
two wickets to his name already. And it's the big man, Rohan Mustafa, who is walking back. It's 129 for six now. Wet pace off. But Ayan Khan says thank you very much. Statement piece. This young man is a, has a bright future. Whoa, just over. Mid on. Shot delivery. Will the keeper get there? You bet he will. Shai Hope's been very impressive with the gloves on. That's wicket number six that goes down. He bowls that heavy ball. Going down the leg side, following that ball. Good job by Shai Hope. These, are, these catches are not very easy. But he made it look simple as Ayan Khan walks out. 9 of 22, 7 down. Oh, he's made a mess of it. Casey Carty, I think he lost his footing there. And he's gone aerial. How big is that? Massive. Ali Nasir has led the hooks on and said, listen, this is what I can do. Well, I can take those singles and doubles. I can muscle a couple of them too. It's the punishment you pay for a lose now. And he goes aerial again and gets a max. That is pretty much a repeat of what happened two deliveries ago. Poor, poor delivery. Didn't really get it off the meat of the bat. But had enough. A 50 for Ali Nasir. Well done, young man. Showed plenty of composure. Coming in at a difficult time for the UAE. He's done extremely well. His teammates should be delighted. Very impressive from the youngster, 21 years old. That is a massive performance in his first match against formidable opposition in the West Indies. And just 47 balls. Look at the strike rate. Oh, low full toss. And he's done very well. Will that go all the way? Oh, well, that's tragic. It's a boundary for the UAE. There it is. And straight to him. The ploy works. Good change. And Ali Nasir trying to go for the big one. Can't quite blame him with overs running out. Took pace off the ball. And Ali Nasir backed himself to clear that short straight boundary. Didn't get enough on it. Kevin Sinclair doesn't drop many. Ali gone for an excellent 58 in his first ODI. 193 for 8. And gone. Not what he intended. And the mid wicket picks up an easy catch. So well done. His first wicket. Just followed him. Knowing Sudiki, the lower order batter, leg side dominant, bottom hand dominant, picks out straight mid wicket. Short cameo comes to an end. Gone for eight, two or two for nine. Got him. Kimo Paul was on target. May up and tried to be a little clever. Didn't quite work out. And uh, they did get past the 200 mark. The UAE. And that's a poor finish for the UAE innings with uh, 17 balls still left. Impressive showing for Kimo Paul in his return to one international cricket for the West Indies. Three wickets on the day. That will do his confidence a word of good heading into the remainder of this series in Zimbabwe. Disappointment for UAE and Kartik Mayapan, who was resilient. He fought hard in his 11. UAE dismissed for 2 or 2. I think they may be just 20 25 runs short. The West Indies, when they come back after a short while, will require only 203 from their 50 overs to take a 1 0 lead in this three match series.
So UAE have managed to get to 202. 203 is what West Indies will require in their 50 overs to win this first one day international. Officially played, but he's got the gap that he wanted. Beautifully played, and that's gone all the way for the first four of the innings. Well, not the best of deliveries to be bowling on this wicket, and King was very quick to pounce on that length. He's hit that well, he's hit that in the gap, and he's got four runs. Again, a wild swing, not from the middle of the bat, but doesn't matter. Charles has managed to play that in the gap and he'll get four runs. There you go, it didn't take too long. How long? Long enough. That is the first big mighty six of the second innings. And there he goes. Into the night sky and into the stands as well. Slowish delivery, full pitch delivery, this time on the offside, a six towards mid-wicket, now a boundary through the covers, Johnson Charles has arrived, and how? Another wild swing at it, how many this time? Well, it's going to be four runs, chase for Ramiz Shahzad, but in vain. Rok, Kudrok. This one has been creamed straight down the ground along the carpet and another four coming from the bat of King. Well, this is another big hit coming in from Charles. He's not going to stop. A short ball and he's pulled it towards Longhorn for a four. Pulled in. Zahur Khan strikes. Initially into the attack. And straight away making an impact. Wanting to play across the line and paying the prize. Zahur Khan wins that little battle. This could be the first of many to come if UAE looks to get some momentum going on from this first wicket down. Johnson Charles gone, 24 for 19. In the gap. One of the best things about Brandon King is his ability to drive on the up. This time over long on, mid on, sorry. Riveting stuff from King, he begins to open up. Well, you have back to back boundaries there for King. Whoa, smashed past him. I'm, well. Oh, nicely clipped off the pads. Beautifully timed. A good effort from Ritya, but it's going to go in vain. That he's going to go all the way for four runs. Nicely played and pressure continues on Ali Nasir. Yeah, he does. Turns it around to mid-wicket. And a fine 50 for Brooks. Well played. Well, a very good innings from King. This is a, a test of his character and he's shown what he can do in different conditions. Not easy, but he's definitely shown what he's got here tonight. And the job is not yet done. Catch it. Ariel, long off in place, has no chance. And that is the eloquent nature of Shamar Brooks. Get used to it. That's big, huge, mammoth. Brandon King, this is what he's capable of. Into the 60s. The West Indies fans are loving it. Yeah, initially from our vantage point, Navni, I thought it hit him on the front pad. And to rub salt in the wounds, Shamar Brooks accesses the offside. Brilliantly. Picks up a boundary. Ah! Will he have his number this time? The finger goes up and he finally has success there. Ayan Khan, he's a relief man.
looking to play that sweep shot. But anytime you can see leg stump, you're always in trouble. Finger went up straight away. He's worked hard, Ayan Khan. Early success. Or well, finally a success, I should say. Brooks going for a well played 44, though. Back in the runs. 1 3 9 for 2. Should be a boundary and is. Brandon King looking to get a move on, looking to get this over with. Oh, majestic from King. Stand and deliver stuff. Back to back boundaries. And make that three. Riveting stuff from Brandon King. Picks him up. Into the onside. One bounce for four. Man on a mission. Brandon King. As he approaches this hundred. Eleven away now. That's big. Robust strike from Brandon King. Dealing in boundaries. As he nears a milestone. There it is. Six of them and a hundred for Brandon King. All here the King. First in one international cricket. Take a bow. Reaches his milestone in style. Taking the applause in style. And this man with the first one for him. Many more to come. The determination that he's shown here. The grit that he's shown here. Is worth every penny of decision. Of letting him go up the order and bat through. 107 deliveries to reach his century on a tough track. This man has a lot more coming. A big shout and given. Rohan Mustafa strikes and King after a well made 100 will depart. To open the face. Try to play as late as possible. Too late. A mere consolation prize for the UAE. King though, what a day. Salute to you. The West Indies will be very happy to see someone get to a century. King gone for 112. Run a ball. 193 for 3. Well, the onslaught continues. And the domination continues from the Windies. It is Shea Hope. The captain. Another flighted delivery. And this is going to seal the deal for the Windies. A comprehensive win. An emphatic victory. And smiles in the dugout for the West Indies. What a performance. What a night they've had. First with the ball. And now in the run chase. Showing how it's done in true Caribbean style. That's how the match panned out. It was UAE who won the toss, decided to bat first, could only muster 202 runs. Top scoring Ali Nasir with that 58 runs and 52 deliveries. Ritya gave them the start but just couldn't carry on, scored 40 of 77 deliveries. Asif scoring 27. Paul was the pick of the bowlers for West Indies, getting three wickets, two wickets for Carrier and two wickets for the debutant Drakes as well. In reply, West Indies getting to that total comfortably, losing three wickets in the process, but getting to that target of 206 runs in 35.2 overs. King, he had a stellar performance tonight, scored a century, scored 112 in 112 balls, Brooks scoring 44 and Charles scoring 24 as well. West Indies winning the game by seven wickets.